Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art and I am going to try again to do what I think is a true galaxy type of pour. This time I'm going to do it differently than the last time and uh, and you'll see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to the thought process is I'm going to lay down the black base in the middle as like a pillow and then I'm going to lay down my central colors and then I have some which will be um, metallic blue the so it'll be this metallic blue this aqua color drizzled on top and then this sky blue pearl drizzled on top of that like a bloom and then I have cell activator and I'm going to drop the cell activator in a couple different spots I'm going to blow out differently um, I blow out in different spots and I'm going to see what I get and then the thought process is I will spin it and then add more black base and then add some other colors, yellow, gold, and red. And then I'm gonna blow them in. And then I'm gonna spin it all out. So I have this all in my brain. <laughs> Whether I'm able to make this happen, I don't know. But I really, really like that Crab Nebula and I like that whole, that the beauty of it. And if I can somehow recreate something along those lines, I will be a happy camper. So with that, let me get going here. And I'll also look at adding some stars at the end, depending on how it all goes. All right. Okay, so I'm a little nervous. I don't know why. This is a 12 by 12. It's just a basic canvas, just a practice canvas. And uh, yeah, let's go. You know, there's something about just going that really makes me feel better. And it's not until I go that I realize what I got to play with. So this is real black, not the scraps like I used the other time. Okay, I'll stop with that. And hope it's that pillow if you want to call it a pillow is thick enough so let me lay down this blue all right and then the aqua I'm just gonna drizzle the aqua on top by the way, that's my uh, my grand dog, in case you're wondering what that slurping is in the background. And these are not bloom paints at all. These are just my regular paints. I'm gonna see, see how this works. This is my Arteza's Sky Blue. You know, the cool thing about the painting is not only just the process itself in doing the painting, but it's also the thinking about what I'm going to do for the next time. You know, the mental preparation, the conceptualizing what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I think I have enough there to spin. All right, let's just go for it. Maybe do one at a time. So this is a concocted cell activator that I made with titanium white and Australian Floetrol. And my intention here is to lay down three different dots of the white. I wasn't expecting it to go like that. OK, 
okay. I don't think I need to do any more blooming. <laughs> Let's add some black. Let's uh, throw on some yellow. And I'm not sure how much color to add. I guess we'll just uh, see. should have had some black in between the two. I wonder if I can add some. Let's see. Oh, I might make a mess of this. There's no such thing as a mess, right? It's all just creating. I want to have the little space between the blue part and the yellow before I blow it back over. It's filling back in. Oh, and that's not what I wanted to do. All right, let's just go. Let's just go. Okay, so I've got my yellow and my gold, and then the red's gonna go on the outside. to the insane asylum over here. Okay, this is interesting. Gotta go quick. I spread this out, it might be interesting.
So it's in this piece that I'm realizing the power struggle between the blowing the paints in to the center and the spinning the paints out. Trying to get the right balance between the two to get the composition right. Darn it. I'm not happy with this at all. This is uh, worse than last time. This is okay. And that's okay. I don't like this over here, it's a mess. So through this section, I'm going to pick up the pace again. I do a lot of trying to blow the paints back in to get some negative space and then spinning to get the paints to spread back out again. So once again, I'm in this eternal struggle between too much paint, trying to blow it in and trying to spin it off. I might even cut some portions out as I go. point I got nothing to lose right just a fight. Huh. Yeah, I just need less paint. All right. Time for some stars. I hope I got enough paint off. So here, I'm just cleaning up my edges and make sure my sides are covered, so I'm gonna skip past some. Okay, so. <clears throat> stars. Let's see how this goes. So we're over here on a test piece of paper. Too big. Why is it so big and blobby?
So I'm going to pick up the pace through the star formation, not to mention hitting that stick is kind of annoying to listen to the whole time. So I'm sparing you guys that part. <laughs> you can see what I'm doing. show you what I got. I think that's about it. So that's where we are. And yeah. Not sure what I think about this. The problem is all of this should be blowing in. Like the nebula is behind it all. But the way it is, it looks like it's in front. That's what bothers me. How do I get this part to fold in? That's the question. Hmm. I will have to think about that. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in and giving me your time. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Not sure what I'm going to have next time, but we'll see. All right, take care, everybody. Bye for now.